This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. James chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. I know this may be hard to believe, but Phil was actually fishing when I was born. I was born on April 22, 1972, which was two days before Phil's birthday. I guess he was out celebrating a couple of days early, because when I came into the world at tri Ward General Hospital in Bernice, Louisiana, Phil was sitting in a boat fishing for catfish at Bayou Darbone Lake. I was the third of Phil and Kay's four sons, and Phil was only at the hospital to witness the birth of my youngest brother, Jephthah. Phil claims watching Jeff's bird traumatized him so much he wasn't sure if he could ever have sex again. Of course, he says it only took him about six weeks to get over it. I guess I'm just glad Phil was there nine months before I was born or I wouldn't be here today. Phil likes to joke that he named me after one of his former students who was a good football player, but he failed the eighth grade three times. The truth is I was named after Willie Ezel, my maternal grandfather who passed away from a heart attack when Kay was only 14. I was born with very long curly hair, and Kay joked that I looked a lot like the boxing promoter Don King. When Kay was getting ready to leave the hospital, they put me in the hall with the other newborn babies. Sounds like a good chance for babies to get switched at birth to me, but apparently that's how they did it back then. Anyway, there was no chance of mistaking me for any of the other babies. People who walked by would stop, look at me, and then ask, Who is that kid with all that hair? They're still asking that same question about me today. Phil was born and raised in Caddo Parish in northwest Louisiana, near where the state converges with Arkansas and Texas. His father, James Robertson, was the son of Judge Ewan Robertson, a longtime justice of the peace in Vivian, Louisiana. James Robertson married Merritt Hale. We always called them Granny and Paul. Phil Alexander Robertson was born on the family's farm outside Vivian on April 24, 1946. Phil had four brothers and two sisters, and they spent much of their childhood living in an old log house located on land outside Paul's Aunt Myrtle Goss. The cabin was pretty rustic and didn't even have indoor plumbing, but the log cabin came with more than 400 acres, which is where Phil and his brothers learned to hunt and fish. The woods surrounding the farm were filled with squirrels, quail, and doves, and the Robertson boys could hunt for duck and fish for white perch and brim at nearby Black Bayou and Caddo Lake. Paul started working in the oil industry when he was young, after black gold was discovered in East Texas and at the Caddo Pine Island oil field in Caddo Parish in the early 20th century. When Phil was in high school, his family was forced to move because Aunt Myrtle sold her farm. They relocated to Dixie, Louisiana, which is about 15 miles north of Shreveport. Granny had suffered a nervous breakdown and was diagnosed with manic depression. Paul hoped the move would help stabilize Granny's condition. She was twice confined to the Louisiana Mental Institute at Pineville, where she received electrical shock treatment. Her condition didn't improve until years later, when doctors discovered that lithium could control her mental imbalance. A short time after Phil's family moved to Dixie, Paul fell 18 feet from a floor of a drilling rig and landed on his head. He broke two vertebrae in his back and ruptured his stomach. The accident nearly killed him. Doctors fused the vertebrae in his back with bone from his hip and repaired his stomach. But Paul was forced to wear a heavy plaster Paris cast from neck to hip for nearly two years and obviously couldn't work. Making matters worse, Granny was confined to the mental hospital at the same time, so Paul was left to care for five children while he was immobilized. Phil's oldest brothers, Jimmy Frank and Harold, were enrolled in classes at Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge. Both of them volunteered to come home and work to help the family make ends meet, but Paul insisted they stay in school and finish their education. The family somehow survived on Paul's disability checks of $35 a week. Phil's older sister Judy did most of the cooking and cared for her younger siblings, Silas and Jan. Phil and his other older brother, Tommy, gathered pecans and sold them to local markets. 
The family sustained on rice and beans, cornbread, and whatever fish and game the boys could catch.